Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sure you're quite busy in the office today. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you some pretty basic tips, but I find that a lot of people don't know about them and have to do with filleting. All right. So I have a situation where I have these two lines right here, and I would like to put a nice tangent arc between those two lines. Have you ever been in that situation? Well, you can use the fillet command to do that. Didn't know if you were aware of that. So let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna go into the fillet command. You're not gonna set a radius or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and select this longer line down here and the shorter one up here and you'll see that AutoCAD automatically adds in an arc that's tangent to both of those lines. Now you'll also notice that the line that I selected first is the longer one. You'll notice that the second line I picked got longer to accommodate the first one. So the first object that you select is the one that wins. Okay, so let me show you that again, just to prove that. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the short line first this time, and then I'm gonna pick this other parallel longer line and you'll see that it cuts that line off to accommodate. So it's really important that you, which line you select first. So something you, for you to keep in mind, okay? Now I should point out that those are lines. If I hold my cursor over that, it will show you that these, are, these guys are just lines and now that's an arc. They're not polylines. What happens if you try that same thing on a polyline? Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna go back into the fillet command. Notice how well behaved I'm being, I'm using the ribbon. And I'll select this object here. That object is a polyline. And I'll come up here and pick that one up there. And you'll see, uh-uh, not going to happen. Doesn't like it. So you'd actually have to explode both of those objects in order to get that to happen. Let me just hold my cursor over there. You'll see that's a polyline. And that is a polyline. Even if one was a line, it still wouldn't do it. Okay, so don't try that on polylines. Make sure you explode those polylines first and convert them back to lines. All right, so, but what, what does work with filleting and with polylines? Well, one of the things I love is about filleting polylines. You'll see this is actually a plain old line, and this guy up here is a polyline. You know, once you fill it and there's a polyline involved anywhere along the lines, the resulting object becomes a polyline, which I think is kind of cool. I like that. Polylines win. So let's do another fillet. Come to the fillet command. This time I will set a radius. Let's set a radius like 0.7 or something like that. I'm going to come in here and select this guy. Remember, that's the line. I'm going to select this one. This is a polyline. And let's see, what have we got when we're all said and done? If I hold my cursor, the whole thing now is one continuous polyline. You can see that also if I select the object. All right, so there are a few very simple, very straightforward filleting tips. I hope that these help you out. Maybe you can apply them today in the office. And I hope to see you back here in two more weeks. Thanks so much for joining me.